Hello and welcome to the Topher Alliance Church Update for the weekend of May 8th. And happy Mother's Day. I hope you can connect with family this weekend and celebrate mothers and their special place in our lives. As I walk around town, I notice evidence of spring. I hear lawnmowers and rototillers. I see activity on the ball diamonds and soccer fields. I enjoy the wonderful smell of barbecues. In some ways, it feels like life is returning to normal after a hard winter and a couple of very abnormal years. Even so, there are many things that aren't normal. Gas prices, supply chain issues, the staggering number of Ukrainian refugees, growing concern over the scope of Russia's aggression. My prayers these days include thanksgiving for all the blessings we enjoy, prayer for those who are feeling the stress of rising costs, and prayer for protection and peace for all who are experiencing the trauma of conflict. Just a note about our ongoing programs. Sunday School is happening this Sunday, May 8th, a break on the 15th, and then start is happening again on the 22nd. The Esther Bible Study is continuing. Those that are involved in that are being texted uh, uh, as to the date. I don't have that at my fingertips yet. And the Daniel Bible Study uh, is concluding this coming week. I believe it's session 12, Wednesdays, 1.30 p.m. Come out for that. And there may be some word of an ongoing gathering for coffee or maybe coffee and music, and we'll let you more, know more about that as that develops. A few things coming up. On May 29th, uh, we're going to have guests Ron and Lois from the Palm Ministry Center. And that afternoon following the service, there will be a barbecue. So bring whatever you want to barbecue and buns. Bring a salad or dessert to share. The church will provide condiments and beverages. In June, our Father's Day Pie Sunday is taking place this year. As well, we want you to know that our international workers, the Ulrichsons, will be in Canada for vacation in June. They need a place to stay in Toefield from June 17th to July 2nd. So if you have avail available space in your home or maybe a trailer they could borrow, that would be appreciated. Let us know and we'll pass that information on to them. Also, Darian, who graduates from high school this year, is looking for employment over the summer. So if you can help with either of those, just let us know. Vacation Bible School is going ahead. It's taking place July 4th through 8th. It's a combined ministry of Tofield Alliance, Tofield Community Church, and Bardo Lutheran Church. We would love to have a few more volu volunteers so we can expand the program a little bit more. If you can help, please just let me know. A few words about our message series, Without Limit, the Spirit of Compassion. God gives the Spirit without limit, yet many believers feel like their experience of the Holy Spirit is limited or lacking. In this series, we consider eight descriptions of the Holy Spirit and the difference the filling of the Holy Spirit makes in the life of a believer. Over the past two weeks, we considered how the Spirit helps us understand our identity as children of God, who are deeply loved. This week, we meet the Spirit of Compassion, who changes our attitude towards others. When He fills us, we begin to reflect the compassion of Jesus as we respond to others. You can prepare by reading Romans 8, 9-11, through that describes a change that happens as the Spirit lives in us. What is that change like? We begin to take on the character of Christ. Reflect on the character of Christ by reading Philippians 2, 1 through 11, and by thinking of how Jesus demonstrated humility and compassion as he interacted with others. As the Spirit lives in us, it changes how we think about others around and how we respond to them. The Apostle Paul reminds us, so from now on we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. It's in 2 Corinthians 5, 16-17. We love the last part of that verse that reminds us that we are a new creation. But we often forget the verse that precedes it. One of the most significant dynamics of being a new creation is that we regard others differently. That change doesn't come naturally or easily but only with the help of the Spirit who lives in us. Thank you so much for being part of our church. At Tophet Alliance Church, we strive to discover Jesus in Scripture, worship, community, and missions. Join in person or online Sundays at 10, or you can catch the message later on YouTube. Take care. God bless.